You're gonna have to catch me in my not readiness, but my hair is still straight. I had to pull back to go ahead and hop on the treadmill and get some work done. Oh, I'm so mad at myself. I just lifted up my little riser desk and my stupid external drive got unplugged. And for whatever reason, it takes forever to reload and turn back on. I'm so annoyed right now because I'm already late getting to my workout. It's 10 a.m. Ashley had a little anxiety moment this morning. I had to take her to school. It was part of the agreement to help her kind of calm down. I'm just barely getting home and <laughs> all I need to do, I have two hours. I only have two hours left until I have to leave again to go donate blood and then likely I'll meet Jason to go to Costco. Um, all I need to do is edit one more video and I'll be caught up. It's all ready to just sit and listen and edit it and it's gonna take like 20-30 minutes for that stupid drive to like turn back on. Meanwhile, Chris, oh, you know what? You can tell there's a different set of lights. Can I tell in person? Kind of. Kind of hoping once we put like everything all together, it doesn't look like that. But I'm also anxious about, I'm anxious about getting ready for Thanksgiving this week. Um, I could set the table up and decorate the table like lickety split but this, <laughs> this mess right here is making me anxious. So while I wait for my computer to turn on and while we wait for Jason to get back from his hike, hopefully he has some good footage of his hike. I don't know if they were able to put the drone up or how much they filmed. Um, they went with, he went with two of his buddies. Only one of them made it to the summit with him. The other one just waited on the trail until they got done and meeting back up with them. If they got any footage, I will insert it here but I am going to attempt, attempt at getting some of this put out where I want it. And if not, then I'm gonna put it back in the buckets. I'm just gonna try and decide what I put my effort into. If I don't, maybe I won't worry about putting like my little Christmas displays on all my little sections like that until after Thanksgiving. I think maybe that'll help my anxiety. Unless I have like extra time tomorrow, I might work on it and just have fun with it. But I'm getting anxious to have the mess cleaned up for Christmas, or for Thanksgiving, I mean. So anyway, that's what I'm gonna work on really quick. Go check out Jason's hike if I do have footage of that. Um, like this stuff, I need to just get my, anyway, go and check out his stuff. I need to get the Christmas wrapping box and keep it in here and make a wrapping center in that room. But, because Jason and I are determined to have everything wrapped before Christmas Eve. In fact, I'm hoping to have everything wrapped before I even go on my little trip to go see my niece's wedding. That will be highly ambitious because that's over a week before Christmas. That would be a miracle. If I can have everything wrapped over a week before Christmas, game on. Okay, I'm gonna get straightening up here and I'll be back with you guys in a second. All right, what time is it, Shane? 5.20. 5.20 in the morning, we're at the trailhead here at McCullen's Butte, getting ready to uh, head out. So we'll see what the trail has. Okay, so we've been going for a while now, no idea. Let's take a little bit of a break, but you can see the beautiful view. And we actually are going like right up there, but we gotta go around and back, like around and back, so. Um, yep.
where we came from. Come up here. And that's what you see. Right. kind of annoyed <laughs> it does look worse on camera than it is in person but these lights down here are a different color it looks really bad on camera like horrible it's growing on me I'm gonna have to disguise the bottom with ornaments or something but I'm getting these picks put in and I just realized Jason didn't put the rest of the lights on I asked him to yesterday and he's like oh I did it I did it all done they're not on. So I'm going to have him put these on when he gets home. Unfortunately, he's not done with the tree. And I'm going to have him do them extra down here to kind of mask the different color here. Honestly, I'm going to have to take those off next year and get... I don't know why they're a different color. They're warm white. But anyway, we just need to... I can't do it. I'm already getting hives on my hand from just putting these branches in. But... I'm going to leave the branches in until he gets home so that I don't have to touch the tree anymore. Um, this is all garbage. I'm just getting things kind of put away as I'm waiting for my stupid computer to be ready for me to edit. Alright, I'm still waiting for my computer to come on. So, I'm going to take these little trees, some flock, right? Yeah, that's my flocking spray. Take those and flock those. I'm tempted to take that down and flock it. I don't know. Or I'll wait until after Thanksgiving. I do like it. I don't like my red stockings. I have three more, in case you're wondering. We are a family of six, but I don't like the red stockings. It's the wrong color, but I'm not allowed to buy more stockings. So this is how it will be displayed for the holidays. Plus they get too hot from the fire, so I kind of put them off to the sides. I might actually scoot that one further. But when we actually set out stuff for Christmas, Santa does bring out all the stockings. Just so you don't worry about the kids. They will come out. I also got out the tree skirts. We have two of them. I think Jason's calling me. It must be he's almost home and I just dumped out my trees. Hey, hang on one second. I'm kind of a hot mess. All right, here's what the trees look like before flocking. And that is after. They look really good. I can't get closer. Let's see here. You can still see the cream through it. I might throw some more on that one right there. But I've really like laid it on pretty thick. And I think it'll look good. Meanwhile, I'm going to wash my hands. In my lazy stupor of not having a Seahawks game to watch yesterday, I ended up watching a whole series on Netflix. Actually, I actually haven't finished it. $18.99. Super good. In fact, Jason's going to need to watch it now. Totally forgot to drop off my Honda Pilot to get all the warranty stuff taken care of. <laughs> we were supposed to take it down last night. We had an appointment this morning. We never forget stuff like this, you guys. It just, it didn't get put on the calendar. I didn't have an alert set up. And this is why I do that. Because we would have gotten alert two hours before, like, <laughs> like two hours before I needed to take it down. And then I would have gotten alert this morning. You know, your car is getting fixed prepare to pick it up like the whole works so now Jason's got to call Honda and ask if they can still fit us in today he's on his way home 
So now I'm gonna take my car in. I'll be stuck using his car until mine is done, his old car until mine is done. But at least it has new tires on it, right? <laughs> Never ending. But I have completely made progress on this countertop. And yes, I have put things away for now until we can get the tree fully ready to decorate. I'm not gonna pull the ornaments out. I'm gonna leave the tree bare for Thanksgiving. We're not gonna decorate it until after. I like the look of just the white and the green for Thanksgiving. We'll have our table set up in here for the 11 of us. We'll be having dinner. And I just want the nice, quiet, white lights in here. Yes, the shelf will be decorated. I might put in some twinkle lights up there. I'm gonna put twinkle lights on here and then fluff it with the fake snow that I have down there on the floor. And then I'll probably light some more candles on the table. I just kinda of want like warm ambiance in here, not necessarily like full Christmas. So we'll just kinda of do a green, evergreen winter wonderland for Thanksgiving. And I have my linens out here. I'm gonna put that on the table as soon as my children, who did not do their chores last night or this morning, get their counters, then floors, dishes unloaded, and dishes loaded. <laughs> I can't do that until they get their chores done. Meanwhile, I've left some slight hints. I might actually leave the cleaning products on the counter. You know, just All helping right. them. I have gotten cleaned up. Can you even tell? <laughs> My hair was still kind of sweaty um, from working out. I got 6,000 steps in, probably closing in on 6,500 from just walking around and getting ready and whatnot. I have to work on my quick pass to donate blood in 15 minutes, so I've got to hurry and get out the door. I kind of expected Jason to be home by now. Before I got ready and showered and stuff, I checked his location, and he was still parked, which means they haven't even gotten back to the trailhead and he hasn't even gotten a ride back to his car. I think it's <laughs> taking them a long time and um, anyway he's good to do this with his friends that are not hikers like him. He's really trying to help train our one friend and the other one just went along for the ride um, but he's been really patient. I keep telling him like today I've been texting him I'm like you need to be this friend for these people. Like you need to do this for them because you had people in your life 20 years ago when you started mountaineering and climbing and hiking. You had those people to help you and motivate you and keep you going on the trail um, and teach you all the things. So he can do that for his friends now and um, kind of give back. And it's like good guy time. Like he's at a point in his life now where we finally have time for him to go and do this. For the past 19 years of owning our business, and even the two years before that, he didn't have time. We just haven't had time for him to take days off work and go and, you know, spend most of the day hiking. And he's been gone since four in the morning, you guys. <laughs> and yes, he woke me up. That stinks. Look how red. I don't know why my face is showing up so red on camera. I don't know. Maybe it isn't. Maybe my settings are wrong. You guys, that was the weirdest experience donating blood I've ever, ever had. Apparently, they put the needle in my valve inside the, the um, vein, and it makes, an, and so like the valve is the little, you know, flappy thing that like opens up the vein to blood supply. And so when the needle is kind of trying to open that valve, the valve is wanting to shut and so it causes a vibration and the tech, the nurse, whatever, phlebotomist, had to literally hold the needle the entire time to make sure she held that valve open and because it vibrated, it vibrated her hands the entire time. Like she said that her whole arm was vibrating and then every once in a while I could feel the vibrations all the way down my arm into my thumb and then um, they're also like on a time limit. 
you have to donate blood within 29 minutes or it's not like a valid donation. And <laughs> so we were kind of like crunching the clock. We were really worried that we weren't gonna donate um, in time because it was going slow because the valve kept closing. <laughs> so like everyone there was invested in this whole process and making sure, and no one had ever experienced um, actually getting the needle into a valve. And so everyone's like, oh, I wanna feel it. So they'd come and feel my arm and they were like, oh my gosh, it's like electrodes like inside my arm and they could feel it. And like everyone was fascinated by it. I donated in a mere 28 minutes of the required 29 minutes. So I did in fact donate in time and <laughs> they were like, we did it. It was, everyone was like almost clapping. They were like, that is so cool. Like anyway, quite the experience. And um, then someone talked to me about donating platelets, which, which you can do. Um, I can actually donate in three days, but I have to find a center. Um, uh, if I work through Bloodworks, which is the center that I donate through, they do not pay for platelets in plasma, which is kind of a bummer because I want to. So I'm, I'm still thinking about donating plasma. Platelets is a good idea. I might actually just do platelets through um, the same, through Bloodworks and just help cancer patients that way. Um, Cause it doesn't, I can still donate like blood and platelets at the same like on the same schedule I'm just trying to decide I don't know if I've talked I think I've talked about this before I can donate plasma and I can make hundreds of dollars a week I uh, know a month hundreds of dollars a month donating plasma but I have to dedicate about six hours of my week and time spent driving to the place where I can donate so it is already 210 I have to I have to decide if I go home and get Jason or if I have him meet me there at Costco, I should say. But Kaylee wants to ride home from school and school gets out in 40 minutes. And I just don't think 40 minutes is enough time at Costco and to make it back over here. Oh, I don't know what to do. She's not on crutches anymore. She's not in a brace. She might wear her brace at school. But I kind of want to tell her, hop on the bus. Hop on the bus. Okay, gotta answer this call, and then gotta, I gotta call Jason and answer this call. Read into it. It's just I just text. picked up Jason after picking up my girls at school, and I had texted him, and I was like, "Hey, do you want to swap and take your car, or should I just pick you up in my <coughs> car?" And his response, text via text message, was fine. Dot whatever. Dot. Yeah, fine. Whatever. <laughs> I did. I read it to Kaylee and Abby, it's and they were like, "Yeah, need. Dad doesn't want to go in your car." <laughs> <laughs> We're going in my car because it's already warm. I was you didn't precondition your car for me. Shush. I was laying on my back by the fire, head propped up, relaxing, relaxing. while your wife is out doing it. You got to go on. Anyway, how was your hike? Fine, whatever. <laughs> oh, oh, I went the wrong behind, way. Got behind the truck. Oh, the trash truck. The garbage man. Dang it, I went the wrong way. Zip down the other way. Yeah, I'm gonna, I don't know if we're gonna be able to make it run around. Okay. Okay, we're at Costco. We're only getting one. Against you my can't wishes. Have, yes, against your wishes. That's one pie, and it's you can the, have it on Thanksgiving season. Day. It's the season. I should have it. Fine, if you get sick of pie, it's not my fault. Go oh, get another one. Oh, all right, I'll Just a quick glance at what we got today. More bagels and cream cheese. Got some Lucky Charms for the kids while they're home from school this week but hopefully it lasts until they're out of school. <laughs> and we got two things of bagels. It won't stay there. Three things of blueberries, two pumpkin pies, because someone can't wait, four gallons of milk, butter, have to wait. bananas, cottage cheese for jello for Thanksgiving, eggs, bread, um, lettuce, and chips, and queso is back in there somewhere. I still need to get jello and cool whip from the grocery store. Last time we were here, Costco doing? sold a large Cool Whip and I, we couldn't find it today. It was like the perfect size too. I'll have to buy a couple of them Are if we, we go to the grocery there store. Now? No. I'm gonna go cash out my YouTube money. I got paid from YouTube today. Stick that in my little Hawaii fund. Okay. Uh, yeah. you should take yes, it. I could leave it in there. But you don't earn any interest. 
banks don't pay no, interest. No, I don't. I don't earn you any could, interest. You like, take it and buy a CD with it. I'm going to ignore him, and we're going to go get my money. There's the car. You want to be careful. You're not in your Tesla. I have a rear view mirror. I can see people coming. <laughs> the girls today were, and I were talking about how he has the worst luck for windshields. Every time he gets a car, Whoops. he will get a cracked windshield. I keep flipping on these things now. <laughs> You gotta drive it like a normal car, honey. Yep. Oh. The windshield wiper's still on. Anyway, the kids were, Kaylee and Abby, were like, oh, I kind of want to be there when dad gets a rock chip in his what? Tesla. We don't want a rock chip. No, we guys. don't, but you're luck. Because I you drive. You have the worst I luck. I drive a gajillion miles on You do. Highway. But you drive my car to Target and you get a rock no, chip. This was on the highway. Coming back from a hike or something like that. Uh, whatever, and I'm always way far away from everybody. I know. So that'll be a sad day if he gets a rock chip in the Tesla. It'll be a super sad day. Yeah, it will. Too bad we don't get mine fixed. You know, it's just still there. My, uh, mine's not fixed either in the other car. It's not fixed. I guarantee you you're going to fix the Tesla if it gets cracked. <laughs> <laughs> the silence is the answer. You can get this fixed. How many of you have figured out that when he doesn't answer, that's his answer? <laughs> <laughs> of all the magic places in the world I've been to This is where my heart is, oh you know it's true No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you